Hey guys, this is the Free to Play Guru, the Free to Play Double Battle Group. Please join our group along with all the affiliated Facebook groups by clicking on the links in the video description. Alright guys, I want to make a uh, hmm, corrections on the video I made yesterday regarding Gogeta's, um, uh, what do you call this, his uh, dupe system video where I said that you should focus on his cred and... Um, Double attack. Uh, I I would like to recant that statement, and I would like to reiterate with Gogeta. He already has um, his attack is already effective against all types. You do not need critical. Uh, all critical does is bypass defense and hits the opponents mm, hard, or actually extra hard. But I believe that you should spend all of your, mm, I guess, all your orbs into maxing his double attack. M double attack at max level, I believe, is 20. And from what I heard from a fellow admin, you, between critical and double attack, there are only, uh, let's see, you can only max one, either or, at level 20, while the other one only being level 4 or around there so in my opinion you want to maximize the one most important skill Gogeta has which is double attack since you know his crit won't do that much damage because he's all he's his passive is um, effect is super effective against all types and my thing is for me I think it's a wise choice to max out double attack so you can maximize the likelihood the percentage that you could uh, double attack as often as possible alright guys so I want to shift gear uh, this time I want to use my intelligence orbs on a free-to-play card and we have from all please da -da -da, the intelligence shadow dragon I think the way you pronounce it is East or ice I think it's East Anyhow, so about this card, um, let me see, let me go back and show you, it's for those of you who are unfamiliar with him, he's really weak, uh, he doesn't attack well, and his uh, essay is only extreme damage, but look at that, his essay greatly reduces defense, that's really good, I believe... In my with the outdated data with the outdated data I have, it's minus forty percent debuff enemies um, defense. I'm not hundred percent sure, but that's just what I heard. And look at his passive: attack enemies, attack and defense minus twenty percent. You're debuffing or you're de uh, nerfing your enemies' attack defense. So. Mm, activate his crit won't really be that good of an option for him. Uh, what you want to do is max out his double attacks. So when you super, you lower the enemy's defense greatly twice. Not only that, his passive attack nerfs their attack and defense by 120%. Now, it's if you get the additional attack in, it's stackable. But I want to reiterate. It's not, mm, what's the word, I guess of lack of better, a uh, lack of better term, accumulatively, in the sense that, let's say your opponent's attack and defense is 100, right? You hit him, and let's not even talk about his essay, let's just talk about his regular attack. His attack decreased by 20%, which, you know, 100 minus 20 goes down to 80, and so is defense. If you hit him again, it's not... Oh, his defense went down 40%. It's 20% of 100, which is 80, and 20% of that is the true value. So I would like to reiterate so you guys can understand. Okay, let's let's do this. All right, let's act. I have I grind a four dupe, so might as well use it in in this uh, showcase video. Yes, I did grind 14 copies of him. Just max out his essay. And the dupes. So, mm, okay. Now I'm not really interested in doing a, you know, tutorial video. This is step A, step two, step 
C, step one, step two, step three. Because there are a lot of videos out there that, that do that. I just want to talk about what's the um, the best skills to increase for certain cards. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a token expert. So, i just sharing with what I know. So, that's why this is more of a showcase video. Okay, let's, uh, let's move up. Let's move up. Okay. Oh, man. The loading screen is too long. I guess there are a lot of people. Or, uh... On the server. Alright, so yeah, with this card, attack up. Attack is not really that great of a... We're not really focusing on attack up. Defense? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give him that HP. So we're gonna focus on HP and defense. However, if I'm on the road to maxing out his double attack, or additional attack, we are going to uh, spend some orbs along the path of this, uh, the, uh, the Grist Sphere, I believe. Alright. Which one is this? Oh, health. Okay, then defense. Oh, do, 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 do. What's this? Attack boost level. Nope, not interested in that. He's a really weak card, even when you're using him against tech. He doesn't do much. But that's not where the... Uh, that's not what makes this card useful. And what makes him useful is his passive and his essay. And when you lower your opponent's defense greatly with his essay, guess what? You can also attack him regularly in his stacks so I hope you guys has grinding has already grind grinded for him when the event came out if not that's okay because I think the Omega event will return okay. hmm, let's go this way Wow, I didn't realize I had over 2,000 Intelligent Orb. So, that's good. I'm gonna come over here. Wow, HP plus 54? That seems so random. Why give us an... Is that an odd number? To divide by 2... 34... Yeah, a bit of an odd number. Bit of an odd combo, I guess. This over here. Uh, no. Do I need cred? I'm not even going to focus on his uh, escape for now. I'm going to maximize his uh, attack twice first. Because we do have a limited amount of orbs, and there are only so many orbs you can farm in a day. So I'm hoping after a few months I will be able to um, max him because it's a really, really useful free to play card. I used them in my fight against um, Omega, the free-to-play team versus Omega, and he what wondered wonders, and I sandwiched him in a mono STR free-to-play team. As you guys see my video, for those of you who have not seen the video, I will strongly urge you to check it out. It's one of the most difficult events that I've done because I was having trouble with team combo. Uh, until my last run, I finally figured out the right team, which you know, included this gem right here. Okay. Alright, attack, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, oftentimes I, I, often I include him on my intelligence model team. Okay. Attack twice. Let's do this. Uh, combo attack. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, that's good. So, what's this? This is crit. We don't want crit. Okay, attack twice. So, I'm coming over here. Guys, it's really important I mean, for me to really focus. If you've decided to, let's see, maximize one skill, stick with that skill. You know, 
Um, that's just that's just me. Uh, yes, I, I I do believe you know. Uh, maxing out a card over time. Don't rush it. Take your time. But I do think that you should focus on the skill that you've already decided decided to after doing some research. Okay. So level six. That's a okay with me. Alrighty, let's see which way should we go? Which one is this? Okay, we don't need to go that way for now. Oh, double attack. I need double attack over here. Nope. Yeah, I'm still kind of learning to find my way around. Uh, but the um, every single card sphere grid is pretty much the same. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure every card's, uh, all the uh, options are identical. My evidence being comparing this card sphere grid to uh, Super Gogeta's, and it seems to me they're the same. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to mention today's Cesar Chavez Day. I hope you guys are enjoying one of the uh, great legends of um, the uh, civil rights activists, especially for uh, farmers, uh, farmer and day laborers, or I should say farmers, yeah, farmers' uh, rights. I'm gonna fight for a uh, fought, whom fought for farmer. Farm workers' um, the right to have a livable wage, or I should say, f a, f a fair wage. So, I actually work today, which uh, which is nice. Got some holiday pay. Uh, no, don't need this. Okay, double attack. Come this way. Hmm. So far, so good. So, by the way, I uh, for those of you, I, I would encourage you guys to read the news and the tut and, and do the tutorial rather than you know sitting there asking questions. You know, take things into your own matter, into your own hands, and learn about the game. That's the half. That's the half, or that's the fun of it. That's half of the fun of it. So anyhow, if you messed up, like for instance, if you focus on Gogeta, Super Gogeta's crit, you can also spend 10 Dragon Stones to reverse uh, some of these nodes. You know, yeah, I know, it's a lot of stones. If you're, if you're, if you're true for your play, player, it's not a good idea. If you're not, eh, it's only Dragon Stones, you can always buy some. If you have some discretionary income, you can always buy some, it's not a big deal. Okay, another combo attack, three. Alrighty. Okay, that's good. Let's see, I'm trying to say okay, combo attack. Nope, I don't want to go there, so I go here. Yeah, so I went back and deactivated a couple of notes. I, I believe uh, some of my admins that were telling me th whom have been playing JP and they were saying that those are called the balance node. The node where you actually you don't have a choice so those ones you can you can if you're looking for a hundred percent activation you can always activate those if you have orbs if you have extra orbs around so that's not a big deal you know for me i'm not a free-to-play player i just use free-to-play cards to beat to your bosses for those of you who are following my channel and what i do um i wish there's no limit there's no cap in how many times you can do the uh or farming stages, you can just, you know, spin a dragon stone or two or whatever. I would still think that's for me in my opinion, I would I would do that. I would farm a bunch of orbs just like how we you know do with the gems and uh, max out my characters ASAP just because why not? <laughs> I guess like I got important more important things to do. Okay, plus three. Nope. I have a bunch of uh, 
large orbs, some small orbs, but the middle, medium sized orbs is where I need the most. Okay, there's another one right here, so come this way. Level 12 already. Eight more levels, I'll max out double attack. That's awesome. My free to my intelligence free to play team will be awesome. Hey, you know when you when you are given a nickname free to play guru, you have a reputation to live up to. And uh, so, in order to keep up with the future meta with free to play cards, that's this is what you have to do. You have to grind. And this is what I do. Okay, let's uh, combo attack. Oh no, I ran out. Oh boy. That's over 2,000 orbs. Oh, hey, let's check him out. Okay, not too much stat increase. However, look at that. Level 12. Double attack. Alright, guys. So, uh, hopefully this video is, in, mm, is informative. and is, is, I hope it's informative more than it's, it has been entertaining. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, this is the free-to-play guru. This is my... Uh, um, YouTube channel called Cell Games. If you like my content, please subscribe to the channel and like its video. Alright guys, enjoy the grind and we'll see you next time.